Hello, and this is my review of Uriah Heep Live in Edmonton, April 30th, 2018. And I have to say, as somebody who's a huge fan of Uriah Heep, they're my number two favorite band, just behind Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, just because they were my first band that I ever loved, like, got so into. Uh, took place at Union Hall in Edmonton, which used to be called the Thunderdome. Uh, great. It, it's... Not Rogers Place or Shaw Conference Center, but for kind of a bar-like setting that can house a lot of people. I actually really enjoyed it. Now, me and my wife got there early. We got there about an hour early and got in. And we got in. We said, well, where do we want to stand? So figured out we get front row. We got there kind of between the bass player, the keyboardist, Bernie singing. So he's running up on down the stage. The drummer and Mick Fox is on the other end, which... Yeah, you know what? Calculated. Ah, uh, maybe I wish I could have got closer, but oh well. Uh, thoughts on the venue? It was actually a nice venue. Uh, it has two tiers to it. I know this from seeing actually the only other band I ever seen there was Guar, with Corrosion of Conformity and American Sharks or some shit like that. But there's two levels to it. So, but for tonight it was only one level, but it was packed. And it was quite an enjoyable experience. You could tell you were in with a lot of Uriah Heat fans from a lot of different decades. For a while there, I thought me and my wife might actually be the youngest people here, but wasn't up. Now, the only gripe I had about the venue itself was their liquor prices and seven something for a can of beer and. I think my wife paid eight something for a can of Stella, so that's real. If that's the only grape we have all night, we I think we've had a pretty good night. Uh, the opening act was Alleviate, which we thought actually sounded pretty good. Like me and my wife both thought, you know what? For an open a level band who were trying to pump up the crowd, get them ready to see your eye heap, I enjoyed it a lot. Like they were good. I actually highly suggest if you ever have to go out or hear this band from. I think St. Albert or Shored Park or something on, like, you hear their name on a card, maybe go see them, because I thought they brought a lot of energy to the show. Now, Uriah Heap. Now, they did have a pretty good concert. Now, the thing I'll say about the concert was it was two hours, but didn't feel like two hours. And let's go through the set list. They played Gypsy, Look at Yourself, Shadow of Grief, Stealing, The Law, Sunrise, Magician's Birthday, The Wizard, One Minute, Between Two Worlds, July Morning, Lady in Black, and Easy Living. So the show itself, excuse me, was about two hours. It could have been a little more, a little less. But it was about two hours. As somebody that's never seen your eye heat before, I loved it. And you could tell, at least the people I was around, that they were fans. They were devoted to the concert and seeing this band live. And you could kind of tell with people all around us. And even Bernie called out one guy saying, Hey, oh my God, he's been singing the whole show and that. And I think there was a bunch of people just singing throughout the entire show. Uh, let's go through this kind of song by song. Gypsy. It sounded great. Like, I like how they come on. You introduce the keyboardist, then you just bring out the band, kind of, as it goes. I, I enjoy that. Uh, the lighting was good. The sound was good. The only thing that I noticed throughout the entire night, and this even went back to, uh, other parts of the show, even the other band. If you're front row, the one thing you do sacrifice is the ability to hear the vocals very clearly. And I actually, though, I was watching it, and I caught, I caught the vocals. I could at least see he was singing in that. So it's not like, hey, he was lip syncing or anything. It was actually a pretty good show. Uh, the next song was Look at Yourself. Another one from... Uh, Look at Yourself album. I enjoy the song. I thought they brought a big energy to this. Like, that's the thing about the set list, is that there's energy throughout the entire set list. Uh, Shadow of Grief, I'm kind of surprised they actually played. I don't know why, because I guess they've been playing it for quite a while, but I kind of... There, there are songs there that I wish they would have played, and songs I'm kind of shocked they didn't, 
but in the grand scheme of things, like, personally, I could have said replace that with uh, Circle of Hands or Rainbow Demon or something, but, hey, that's just me. That's who am I to say. Uh, next four song is one of my favorite Uriah Heap songs of all time. Take me to the water. Cause I'm in need of some place to hide. Good old stealing. Uh, this song to me was really good. You could tell that people around here, they knew this song. They loved it. They were singing along. Then you get into some of it, you get into the, like the soloing shit and just head banging away. Had me head banging away. Uh, some other people in the front row. You had, uh, my wife was taking pictures throughout parts of the concert and some videos i'm kind of sad that i didn't mention to her well during stealing could you get his vocals or get the band during the song but it, it was good anyway i had a lot of fun the next song is the law it's a newer song from the album outsider i like what they did here i really do i thought it was a great idea to not only play some of your classics but bring in some newer songs that fans, especially here, might not know. So it makes them go and check out the album. It, it's a good thing. Then you had Sunrise from Magician's Birthday. Great song. Now, if it was me, I would have maybe started with Sunrise and then put Gypsy in that spot. But hey, who am I to say? I like this song a lot. It, especially the thing, the sunrise, the sunrise in you, and the vocal harmonies. Like, you could hear this band. They, they were on, like, all night. Then you had Magician's Birthday. You had the great uh, Mick Box, uh, Wah Solo. I know I did a God's a Guitar episode on my previous channel. I, wa I went back and watched it. I want to redo it. Because I don't think I did Mick Box justice for just how fucking good of a wog guitar player he is and how much that solo was just like amazing to watch live i do it my wife actually did pretty good she captured the whole solo up until the point where bernie started singing again and uh yeah that was good then you had the classic the wizard and one thing i like about uriah heap is the fact not only they had like up to this point it was pretty much driving songs, and then you kind of slow it down with the wizard. The, this is one thing I like about the crowd interaction, is whenever there's a song where they think, hey, get the crowd into it, just have them clap their hands. And, and it makes great work. This shows that they've been doing this for a long time, and they know how to work a crowd and how to get them invested. I really enjoyed this. I love the wizard, Demons and Wizards. Actually, Magician's Birthday was the first or not Magician's Birthday, uh, Demons and Wizards is the first full-length Uriah Heap album I listened to. And I still love that, and I love that opening track. Here walks the wizard of a thousand kings. That Hensley writing there, it worked. The next one was One Minute. Now it's from their album, I believe, Outsider. I liked it. I, I like it. I enjoyed it. You could tell that they're were fans there kind of, I, I kind of just did a quick peek around while I was into the song, and you could tell some people didn't hear it, or haven't heard it before, because I think the level of, especially around me, of people singing along to it wasn't as much. But yeah, that's just that. Uh, Between Two Worlds from Sonic Origami, I thought it was pretty good. I... Like, I, I've heard it on album. I think this is a song I've heard on album that I actually prefer live and stuff. But, yeah, it's just me. Then into one of my favorite all-time Uriah Heap tracks, July Morning. Now, the only gripe I've ever had about Bernie Shaw is the way he sings certain songs. Because you get so used to listening to him on album and hearing David Byron's way of doing it. There I was on a July morning. And then you have Bernie's way of singing it, where it sounds a little bit more different, or just different to me. And I've always noticed that about Bernie, it's a little different. But it's not bad, I enjoyed it. Uh, next song, Lady in Black. Now I said, my dad's favorite song, his favorite band, I remember asking him this once, what's your favorite song, your favorite band? He said, Uriah Heep, Lady in Black. 
He said, I love your eye heap, and that is the song I love the most. And it's one of those just beautifully haunting your eye heap tracks. Very, the words, you had the people just singing along and then them shutting off the band and having everyone going, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, and that's, that song, uh, Lady in Black, to me, my wife took a whole thing of it. Now, this is the only time this ever happened during the concert. Davey Rimmer, I guess, seeing my wife might have been filming a little bit of this. So he comes over, he puts his leg on this uh, barricade that separates us and the band, like, stage. There's about probably a, I want to say, two, three-foot gap there. And he comes over, put or might not even be that much, it might even be less than that, but puts his foot on it and just starts basing out, just like going all in on bass. And my wife at first didn't know what was going on, so she put it up, caught him going like this, and then she didn't really think too much of it. And then she watched the video back and seeing after she did it, the guy's, Davy Rimmer's like, and then just goes back to playing. It was a great sight. She got also a lot of great pictures of the band, of Mick Box. One where it looked like he was actually looking at her and smiling, so I enjoy that one. That's a great picture. Uh, yeah, so that was that. And then the encore was Easy Living, their most recognizable song, Easy Living. I love this song, one of my favorites. So, typical heap, everybody knew it. It was driving and finished the concert out on a good note. The thing I love about this concert, about two hours, did not feel like two hours. It actually left you wanting more, which... Some people might say, well, look at their age, how old they are. I can see. I heard at other concerts they canceled at least one during this tour due to health. Uh, also, uh, yeah, like, the stage presence of these guys on stage was amazing. You could tell that they've been doing it for a while. Mick just was, this is my first time ever seeing it. So I was just completely mind blown watching Mick box on guitar. As a guitar player myself, I loved it. Uh, Bernie Shaw vocally, even though we couldn't hear him very well where we were, I could hear him enough where I'm like, man, that guy's a fucking amazing singer. I've always I've liked Bernie Shaw's singing. Just me and us singing style to some of the classics, but that's just a great I have. It's me, but. Then also, uh, yeah, after the show, uh, keyboards. I love the keyboards and how it's just the flair throughout the show and the band in general. You have Mix like doing solos where he's like, just doing like stuff like that while he's playing or during solos and just great stuff. Uh, Davey Rimmer, I've I watched a few reviews previous, just trying to get where people were at, but the more I did it, I said, you know what? I haven't seen Davy Rimmer ever live. I enjoyed him. I thought he was good. He had this great bass. And I'm not one for usual effects during shows and talking much about him. But I like that his bass lit up. Me and my wife both enjoyed that. That was amazing. Uh, oh, what's the other one thing I want to talk about? The drummer was good. My wife seen his kid as her as a drummer. If we could ever get a drummer's drum set kit from Ontario out here, we would. Uh, just, my God, listening to the drumming. It was solid, and that's what I'll say. It's solid. Um, and yeah, after the show, they went and handed out picks and stuff and drumsticks. I got a pick from uh, Davey Rimmer, the bass player, uh, there we go. Yeah, it was actually a fun night. I had a good time. Uh, it's actually funny because he was actually out, uh, came over, and I just decided to put my hand out, whatever. If I get a pick, I get a pick, whatever. He came and put it right in my hand, and it's like, yes, this is the best concert ever. One the set list, but oh well. You know what? I, I thought, you know what? I, I'll stick with the pick. I like that. But anyway, once again, this is my thoughts on this concert. Be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe if this is another platform, whatever. Do whatever. So, yeah, this is me here once again. Peace.
Oh, and the music in the back is right, Demons and Wizards, if you can hear it. 